Welcome to The Vessel Online, I'm Kalen Markstrom. Murder mysteries have always been a popular movie genre, but what if they were meant to be just games? To show us his cards, here's Austin Clemen with his review of Game Night. My name is Austin Clemen, and this is USF's Movie Moment. The movie that won the flip of the coin today is Game Night, which is about three couples who have a game night together each week, but the main character's brother comes along and invites them to a game night of his own. Tonight, we're taking game night up a notch. Oh boy. Mm. This game night is a murder mystery, but it goes off the rails as real criminals get involved and actual problems start occurring. And everyone has to figure out what's real and what's not. Which is a really fun and intriguing premise. The movie stars Jason Bateman, Rachel McAdams, along with a rather strong supporting cast. And let's just jump in right there, shall we? Game Night's cast was spectacular. Almost everyone played a character that was, for the most part, very believable. The only one who didn't really do this well was Billy Magnuson. He plays a character who is so unbelievably stupid that there are times it just feels like he is in there only for a comedy bit. But I only say this because it may be a gripe to some people, but for me it's just a minor annoyance I noticed and it didn't take away too much from the film. The great acting throughout Game Night helps to accentuate the writing of the movie. There are moments written into the film and the plot that are nods to the audience at times, making a ton-in-cheek, pseudo fourth wall break occur. The film is visually stunning, especially with the establishing shots it chooses to use. My wife even leaned over to me while we were watching it and asked how they would have even gotten the shot because it was just that cool. The pacing of the film never felt like it got off after the first little bit where it did seem to trudge through the establishing of the world and characters a little, but really aside from that minor gripe and the one small one that I mentioned earlier, I only have one major problem with this movie. The movie had no reason to be rated R other than the fact that it used the F-bomb enough times to bring it up to that level. So while I realize there's nothing I can do about swearing in a movie, I am of the mindset that you can get the same point across without swearing, and I do hate it when a film has some gratuitous swearing for the sole purpose of getting the now almost coveted R rating. That alone is enough for me to pull the movie down from my highest rating of Frame the Ticket. Instead, Game Night is good enough to receive Keep the Ticket. In the end, Game Night surprised me as I went in expecting a dumb comedy, but it gave me a really smart, very comedic romp that kept me both laughing and on the edge of my seat. And to give everyone a fair warning, you'll want to stay both through the fun credits and until after the boring credits. I don't think my theater knew this as they brought up the lights as though the movie was over, when in fact it has both a mid credit scene and an end credit scene. That's all for today. For USF's Movie Moment, I'm Austin Clement. Game Night received positive reviews on Rotten Tomatoes with a score of 81%. Samsung has recently announced their next phone, the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus, and the big thing they're pushing is their camera, specifically video. The S9 has AR emoji, 4K video at 30 or 60 frames per second, super slow-mo video at 720 or 960 frames per second, and can adjust background blur after you've taken the photo. The S9 will release on March 16th with a cost of $719.99. Thank you for tuning in today. Come back tomorrow for another news update. For The Vessel Online, I'm Kalen Markstrom.